I'm Kathy Dyke, and I'm going to explain to you how we're going to be talking about defining positive and negative integers. So positive and negative integer is um, a number on a number line, 0, 1, 2, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, 3. All of these are integers, um, but an integer cannot be a fraction and it can't be a decimal. It has to be a whole number. So. We're going to talk about adding and subtracting um, integers. We're going to do one example here to show you a certain method that we're going to be using. Negative 3. For negative numbers, I'm going to use an empty circle. For a positive number, I'm going to use a filled in circle. So negative 3 will have three empty circles. Positive 4 will have four circles, but they will all be colored in. Then to help us think about it like this, we're going to mark one of them off for each one of these. That one, that one. Leaves me with one left over, so I'm going to put the one there. Um, another way that you can look at this is that um, the, the signs are opposite. One of them is negative and one of them is positive. So you take the bigger number minus the smaller number and you get left with 1, and then you keep the sign of the bigger number. Because the 4 is positive, you keep it, so you'll keep a positive sign at the end. Let's do a few more examples. Nine plus a negative six. Um, these are opposite signs. One of them is positive, one of them is negative, so we're going to subtract. 9 minus 6 is 3, so the answer is 3. And which sign is bigger? Which number is bigger? The 9 is bigger, so I'm going to keep that positive. Negative 14 plus negative 3. This one's different. The other two were um, positive and negative. And then you subtract, and then keep the larger sign. That was the first one. This one's a little different. These are opposites. All right, these are the same. So they're both negative. When they're both negative, you add the numbers. And the sign stays the same as both of them. So 14 plus 3 is 17. So the answer is 17. And then the sign of both of them is negative, so it stays the same. We're going to move on to part two. We're going to multiply integers. There are certain rules that go with multiplying integers too. Let me do one example and I'll show it as I do the example. Okay, these two have the same sign. When they have the same sign, they become positive and then you still do the multiplication. So 4 times 3 is 12 and it becomes positive. If they have opposite signs, one of them is positive and one of them is negative, then they become negative. So let's do another example. Negative 7 times 4. 7 times 4 is 28. But because this one's negative and this one's positive, it becomes a negative 28. Negative 1 times negative 4 equals 4. They're both negative, so it becomes a positive 4. Negative 7 times negative 13 equals a positive 91. You multiply the two, but they are both negative, so it gets a positive sign. These rules also apply with division. So these are both multiplication and division. So 4 
divided by negative 2. They're opposite signs, so the answer will be negative. 2, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Negative 81 divided by negative 9. 9 goes into 81 9 times. They're both negative, so this will be a positive. Because both signs are the same. Hope my explanation has helped you guys. See you later. Bye.